evening. You know, if I'm still awake and after Jeopardy's over, I, you know, I like to slip into my pajamas and get a good show on TV and, and have a nightcap, you know. And that's important. I think it makes the show a lot better. If you have a nightcap that's consistent with the show. Sometimes it makes the show better, and if the show's not quite that good, eh, what the heck. Mm. You know, like, uh, I think the first time I saw Don Johnson walk into a bar in Miami Vice and ask for Jack Neat, and I was hooked, you know. Uh, watching the World Cup, we, uh, we went through a whole bottle of cachaça, the national drink of Brazil. Very good, by the way. You know, if you're uh, watching a Patriots game, you might want to have a beer. You know, if uh, you're watching the Kentucky Derby or Gone with the Wind, well, mint julep would fit the bill if you can find the right, you know, creek water to make it. You know, if you're watching uh, Shameless or God forbid, you know, fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Well, then you're going to drink everything or anything you can get your hands on. And, uh, you know, I, I can't responsibly recommend that. But, you know, for example, if you're watching uh, Friends, well, I, I think you want to have coffee. If you're watching Jane the Virgin, then you want to have a Virgin Bloody Mary. Or, or maybe if you're daring a uh, 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 Bloody Maria. Uh, Outlander, Scotch, and then Mead. And Mead also goes with uh, Game of Thrones, if that's what you're watching. Banshee, Sons of Anarchy, well, then you're really into whiskey. Uh, no shot in a beer. Penny Dreadful, you should have some kind of gin drink. Just like, uh, you know, if you're watching Mad Men, well, then that's, that's a martini. Now here's a drink I'll show you, if you watch The Slop. Slop's a great show. It's called The Hot Zorba. Uh, the key ingredient in a hot zorba is usual. The drink liqueur. You know, it's made from fresh grapes and uh, berries and herbs. Uh, like a nice licorice. Uh, mint, wintergreen, fennel, hazelnuts, you name it, it's in there. Ouzo, you might remember, you know, if you, uh, if you put it into an alcoholic drink, it's clear as a bell. Uh, if you add it into water, anything non-alcoholic, uh, the anise oil just makes it cloudy and white, which is a good drink. Also, by itself, like if you put it over rocks. They recommend uh, like a vin chaud glass for hot wine, but this nice little Greek duck thing is going to work for me. So, it's equal parts black rum, Ouzo, yeah, fresh from the store. Just have to break this baby open. Equal part Ouzo. Equal part lemon juice. a lot of lemon juice which is not bad then of course they'd like some honey squeeze that right in this is uh, the kind of honey we keep here this is raw wildflower honey very good and the final ingredient is, is three to five ounces of hot tea. And 
looks like the right color. And mix that all up. Make sure that honey dissolves. And garnish it with a piece of orange. A hot zorba. Perfect, perfect. That's like a slap in the face. No, but it will help you sleep better while you're watching your favorite TV show. So, don't sit around bell-eyed watching TV when you can be getting in on the action and enjoying yourself much better than looking at the boob tube and thinking about having a hot sauce.